everyone. Alam with you from Ultratech Water Treatment. Today here you see is a 3000 gallon RO system designed for uh, brackish water. Today I am going to tell you about the operation of this uh, RO system. So we will start with the feed water tank. Here you see is a raw water or feed water tank. So I will tell you about the connections here. Okay, this line you can see here is a feed line to the raw water tank and this connection will go directly to this wall of the container. You have to make hole over here because this container will be shipped to Africa so we cannot make holes in the walls right now. So it will be on the side. Secondly, the, when the water will come to this feed water tank, from here the water will go to this RO system and this booster pump here you can see, I will show you this booster pump, will take water from that tank and pass it through this multimedia filter and this multimedia filter will pass the water after that to cartridge filter and then to reverse osmosis high pressure pump and after this high pressure pump the water will go to the membranes from membrane the water will split into two lines pure water and drain water here you see on the top it's the pure water line from here is directly connected here and going back to that same tank you can see here it's a pure water tank the line coming from the tank from the system and connecting to this tank from the tank the water is going out again out of the container as a pure water so which will be used for drinking or any other purpose. Thirdly the system will produce drain water as well. Here you can see is the drain water line at the bottom of the system and it's connected in this middle pipe. This pipe it's a drain water line and the water will go from there to the same point where it will go out again of the container. So first of all before starting the system we have to fill media inside this vessel. So it will be total 25% gravel, 25% sand and then 25% the fine sand. So 25% will be left empty for water. After this we have to put cartridges inside this. So it is a 20 inch polypropylene cartridge inside this housing. And we have to put membranes inside this housing as well. Here you can see it's two membrane housing. So both will be from this top. So it's a, a, a series uh, membrane. So it's an array design. This one will take feed from the high pressure pump and will give drain water to this and from here you will take the pure, both of the pure water is from the bottom. So for the membrane, how to put the membrane, we will provide you an operation manual for this one. And here first of all when you start the system, the feed pump will start giving water to this system. On the top of the wall if you will see, it's mentioned backwash. If you will just turn this position to this one, it will start draining the water instead of giving you pure water. So we have to first clean the media with the water. After 20 to 30 minutes of backwash, we will turn this wall to rinse. So this is the rinse position, if you see the direction of the wall. So from here the water will come from this line, but it will go to the drain but from the reverse operation. It means that the water will go in the filtration mode but will go to the drain. After this you have to put this direction here and it will come the water will start going to the RO system. This is an anti scalene tank. Here you see is a pure water line connected to the anti scalene tank. So you have to fill this tank with 58 liters of water and you have to add 2 liters of chemical in this tank. This complete system is operated with this, these 4 switches. It's a control panel from inside if you can see. It's with contactors and uh, breakers with a relay as well, timers. So from here when you want to start the system just power it on, it will give power to the system. The main power inlet is here, you have to connect the main power here. There is also a breaker for this RO system and the wire is connected to this uh, electric trunking and to this RO uh, control panel. From here there are total three different uh, systems. One is booster pump, RO pressure pump and then a flushing system. So flushing system you have to put on auto high pressure pump on auto and feed pump on auto. So initially the system will start and start flushing, the, this feed pump will taking water from the raw water tank and it will, doing the flushing, it will start flushing of the system, not just only the, uh, give you the filtration, filter water. So the high pressure pump will not work at that time. It will automatically from this solenoid valve you can see, it will take water, pass it through all the system and give it to the drain. Here you see are the two flow meters which will give you the reading of reject water, the drain water and the pure or product water. So these are the flow meters, the reading is up to 5 GPM. So the system will give you more, more prob most probably around 2.5 GPM as a pure water. These three are the pressure gauges. This one is the pressure gauge for inlet water. This one is the pressure gauge for inlet of the 
uh, high pressure after the high pressure pump or inlet of the membrane this is the pressure gauge for the outlet of the membrane it means the drain water on the drain water line 